was a battleship of the sky. The USS Akron was the first ship, and that was different in that it was designed from the outset to be a flying aircraft carrier. Inside the belly of the airship, there was a hangar bay, and it could carry up to five biplanes. They had several planes, but the most famous was the Sparrowhawk, a little bit of a 20-foot wingspan uh, fighter. It would come up, had a hook on the top, and it would hook onto a trapeze bar from a trapeze that lowered from the ship. It, it would engage, and then the trapeze would raise the ship up and stow it in a hangar. And the idea behind this was that the planes could fly out and scout at a much greater distance than the airship alone. The Akron had three reinforced keels and eight engines capable of driving the ship at nearly 70 miles per hour. The engines were inside the ship, and a long shaft came out there on the propellers, and you just walked engine compartment. In 1933, after logging more than 1,700 flight hours, the 200-ton airship flew into a storm off the New Jersey coast. It hit the water at full speed. 73 of the 76 men perished. There were no life jackets on board. Barely two weeks after the crash of the Akron, her sister ship was completed. The USS Macon was identical, except that she was 8,000 pounds lighter and faster, a fact the new commanding officer found difficult to deal with. As one senior airship officer remarked to me, he was so careful it was downright embarrassing. Built to cruise 10,000 miles without refueling, she's the pride of the Navy. Using its fighter planes as lookouts, the Macon could patrol almost 129,000 square miles of ocean in a day. In February of 1935, the Macon was lost in severe weather off the coast of California near Point Sur. This time, they had life jackets on board, and all but two of the 83 men on board survived. 